I bought me a new toy. Yo, yo, Usman here. So I thought it was time for me to get a bit better with my audio for this video series. So I bought me a new toy, the Zoom H1N. I was getting a little bit annoyed with the audio quality that I had in my video, so I thought it would be a great upgrade. So what you're hearing now is the sound of the new recorder. Let's compare it to how it was. So this is the quality that I had with my Sony camera. It's pretty decent, but since I'm an audio tutorial channel with lots of music involved, I thought it would be better to have a better audio quality throughout this series. And now my audio is like this, which I think is much better, it's much cleaner, it's much more direct. And I can't wait to make some new sounds with this. So I think this will greatly benefit the content that I'm putting out on this channel. So as mentioned, I want to do more with recording sounds in my vicinity. So starting with a new segment in the coming weeks called House Beats. Where I will record stuff from my house, like my kitchen, like my studio, like all kinds of different sounds. I've never been one to sample or record sounds myself. So it will be quite an adventure for me too. And uh, I will make some beats out of this, perhaps make some music, like some full on tracks with this as well. So all of these sounds that I will be recording will also be available in the Patreon packs. So if you're interested in that, you can head over to my Patreon page. I will put a link out somewhere in the end of this video. So the Zoom comes with a lot of great functions. You can do, for instance, put a limiter on it, which I personally don't really like because it's really pretty a harsh limiter on the sound. You can add a low cut filter, you can a high cut filter on your voice or the sounds that you're gonna record. You can manually adjust the input level and recording level of your voice and the things you're recording, but there's also auto level function. I'm not really sure about yet which one I prefer the most. So yeah, those are the two functions that you can use. It's really easy to use and has a great display where you can really see what you're doing and if you're peaking with your sounds that you're recording. So far I've only recorded my voice and I have to say I'm really happy with the results so far. What I also think is a great feature is that you can put your headphones in so you can directly hear the sounds that you're recording and how they will sound when they have been recorded. So I think that's also a really great feature. As I'm editing this video right now, I, I noticed that I didn't even give a proper conclusion as to what I think about the Zoom H1 uh, recorder. At the moment, I mainly use it for the vocal. I think it's really great for that. And when I've tried it with recording sounds and recording my own voice for different purposes, recording all kinds of different stuff with the recorder. My dog is making a ruckus here now. I can give you a more proper uh, detailed um, look at what, what I exactly think about this recorder. But I have to say so far it's a great improvement for me and I think it will greatly benefit this channel. I think it's time... I'll kill it off. What's left now is just to record some sounds with it. Dude, can we finally go get some sounds then? Hurry up. Oh, um, yeah, subscribe, like, and uh, next video.